Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 22 of the Anti-Influencer Hour. I am your host, Rachel Resnick, and we've got a great show for you tonight. Hope you're all going to have fun this week, not going anywhere for Thanksgiving. Um, I honestly think by now we should have genetically modified turkey enough to get it small enough for one person. So I hope that's what we're all doing. I mean, we can do it to Yorkie dogs and pigs, so I don't really understand why we can't do it for turkeys, get like tiny little turkeys. They'd be cute pets too. We could walk them around on leashes. Um, and you know what? I feel like in 20 years, we're gonna do Thanksgiving. We're gonna do Thanksgiving, what happened to Columbus Day. We'll be like, why do we carve turkeys and make pies to celebrate mass genocide? And you know, now the corporations are starting to call Columbus Day Indigenous Peoples Day. Maybe in 50 years, we won't have Thanksgiving anymore. We'll just have a day called, we're sorry, for the pilgrims have this festive pie. Um, you know what, actually my sister Jackie wrote this essay when she was six years old in 2002 that I feel really captures everything. So I'm gonna uh, play that image for you. Hope you all enjoy this six-year-old image. All right, let me know uh, what you think of that in the chat. I think Jackie's actually here. Hi, Jackie, in the chat. Hello. Um, she says, I'm sorry that I didn't know how to spell. Your, spelling, your spelling's okay, but you know what? I think overall that's pretty good for a six-year-old. Uh, so uh, moving on, we're actually gonna do something very exciting tonight in the monologue. We're actually gonna make our theme song. We're gonna do a brand new anti-influencer theme song live on air. And here to do that, we have Ezra Parter. Ezra, are you there? I'm here. Yep. Amazing. I just have the wrong view on. There we go. Now I'm here. Ezra is uh, is the tech genius tonight. Uh, he is a producer on the show, and he has taken over the tech. So he's here also yeah. to make the theme song. Yeah. So So, okay. What I did was I made three different beats, and I wanted Rachel to be able to choose them. But, but because tech is difficult, uh, there's no way for her to hear what you can hear at home. So uh, <laughs> you're going to have to decide in the chat which of these three beats you want us to use. So I'm going to play beat one. And then after a while, I'm going to be like, OK, now we're switching to beat two. Keep it in your mind and then you'll vote. But there's also beat three. So there'll be three choices. And then whatever I hear the most of in the chat, that's what we're going to that's what we're going to go with. Um, so here is beat one. And again, Rachel can't hear this, but Rachel, act like you're listening to a beat. Okay. I have no idea what you can hear. <laughs> this is the first beat? Mm -hmm. Okay, so far we've got one vote for this. We haven't heard the next one yet, but thank we you. We haven't heard the next one. How are they going to vote? Is it Andy? Andy. Um, okay, so that's beat one. Here's beat two. This one's like a little bit of a darker vibe, Rachel, so dance like it's a little bit darker. Okay. I don't know how to dark, dark dance. Okay, I'll just do this. Same thing I was doing before. I love that we're going to have this theme song and I don't know what it is at all until tomorrow. Uh, Victor wants to know what I'm using to make it. I use Reaper. It's great. Uh, Reaper is easy in general. Um, hey, Andy also voted for this one. He sure so. did. Yeah, and Victor wanted to know yeah. if it's in Phrygian. I don't know what that is, but no, it's just it's just weird. Okay, here's beat three. Uh, and Rachel, this one I think is is the most jazzy. So dance like that. Yeah, his vote does count a lot, but we're seeing number three a lot. I think the audience also uh, counts. Here we go, number three. Uh, pop it in, pop in which vote, what you want to vote for. Uh, 
Cola212 says two. There's a quick read. Roy says Here's two. One. Oh, Miles says one. Three. I think it's three. Okay, and here's a quick refresh here to two. Victor says four, so that means three. Your vote counts for three, Victor. Victor, we can do this with you next week. Okay, and it sounds like three is the winner. So now, I think three is the winner. So now, Rachel, you wanted me to put lyrics over it that based on the audience? Is that what yeah, you're based on the audience, but this is obviously when I can hear what's happening. So I'm pretty excited for this. Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to make an anti-influencer theme song with suggestions from the audience as we're going to do it off the spot. So drop your uh, anti-influencer keywords in the chat so you want to hear in the theme song. Pickles, which has nothing to do with the show, but it's really why 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 did you mute? But why don't we need the mute button? The mute button. Thanks, Roy. Yeah, that's true. Wine. Thank you, Miles. Okay. Okay. Ninja. Ninja the cat. That's true. I think that's enough. That's a lot. I think that's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. You do got this. I can't hear what's happening. on the spot i think it had all the good markers of a theme song i think so uh everybody thank you uh we've got a great show for you tonight uh andres parada is back with a new video uh we have a fantasy draft that's happening live on air we're gonna watch part of the fernanda show if you haven't seen it it's a very good show uh manny on the street is back on the street with some thanksgiving questions for people on the street in los angeles and now please welcome this word from our sponsors The turkey, a great American bird. Proud, affectionate, intelligent, wildly admired. So why do we eat them for Thanksgiving? This Thanksgiving, don't eat a turkey, eat a bald eagle. Paid for by the turkeys of America. <laughs> Are you a man who is self-conscious of their own body? Do you feel there are parts of you that are lacking? Is your self-esteem so low where you've told other women to get boob jobs just to avoid working on your own damn problems? Hi, I'm Dr. Tess, and I'm introducing to you today, Fall Jobs, an innovative surgery that can make your pansy raisinets into succulent avocados. Thanks to technology, this is a simple and easy procedure. All we do is take your choice between chunky plastic or bag full of salt water, make an insertion, replace them, and shove them right up into your Santa sacks. And voila, now you got yourself some hefty pair of cherries. Now, that brings the term, how's it hanging? to a whole new level. But don't take it from me. As a woman who doesn't have testicles, let's hear some of our testimonies. I wanted to go to bars and start meeting up with women, but I felt like I was lacking in a particular department. And so I was looking into different procedures and things I can do to help with that. Procedure that helps make your dick grow was way too expensive. So I went with the ball job. <laughs> no regrets in that department because I feel like the toughest man alive. Excuse me, miss. Hi, uh, you look like a doctor. Um, 
Can you tell me whether I just have an infection on one side of my ball or if the other side is just blue balls? I told my third wife at the time that in order to improve my sex life, she needed to get her boobs done. She got me divorce papers and a pamphlet about ball jobs. I was skeptical at first, I'll admit, but after realizing that all the money has to go to alimony anyways, I thought, what is there to lose? So after our painful, intense procedure, I wound up getting the balls of my dreams. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> They're fucking amazing. Eh. I mean, I'm, I'm in debt to the point where I can never get myself out of it, but it was all worth it. Look, I'm a board licensed pediatrician, obstetrician, surgeon, and vet tech. And this is... Look, I, I, I'm also just totally for freedom of expression and body empowerment, but this is the weirdest, strangest, oddest, any word you could think of medical like procedure I've ever heard. But wait, we have a buy one, get one free deal if you act now. Place a $50 deposit and the surgery is on the house by yours truly. So come make an appointment with me right now when you call 1-800-BALL. 1-800-BALL. That is 1-800-BALL ball jobs for the classy douchebag next door. Okay, um, thank you so much uh, for our sponsors. Uh, clap, clap, clap. Also clap for uh, Whitney Allen, who uh, made the ball jobs video. Clap it up for her. Um, so during that video, tech got a little crazy and I actually need a little bit of tech support uh, for this uh, for the show. I'm really sorry uh, to do this live, but um, I just got to get someone on the line. Let me find Zoom support. Oh, hey. Hi there. You're having trouble with your Zoom? Uh, yeah, we're having uh, some technical issues. Uh, we're doing a show. We're doing a live stream on Twitch. Do you think you could help? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so sorry about that, but I'm, I'm Candice, okay, with Zoom tech support. And I'm going to, I'm going to get you Let's say here, I'm gonna get you the your passcode reset, all right? Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay, right. All right. You ready for your new passcode? Uh yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right. It's gonna be O as in uh Ohio. <gasps> That's almost a palindrome. Well, I guess in that case it would have to be Ohio, but that's just phone, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sure. What's the next letter or number? Uh, okay. All right. Well, it's O as in, you know, Miss Rachel. T as in pterodactyl. I don't, uh, I don't think ter that doesn't start with a T. It starts with a P. <laughs> okay. That cannot be right. How is pterodactyl going to start with that? It, it, it does. It just, it starts. Uh, all right, so is it a T or is it a P? I don't know. Okay, my son, he loves dinosaurs and he has not told me about this, but I will look it up. Okay, yeah, maybe ask him later. I'm pretty okay, sure. well, I, I do. I love to learn. Okay, so we got T as in thank you for that information. I'll be Googling about dinosaurs. P okay. as in psoriasis. P as in psoriasis. P as in psoriasis. Now that one I do know starts with a P because my sister has it, suffers from it more like it. I mean, she got a prescription and oh, I could have said P as in prescription. I think we could all agree on that one without a Googling, am I right? I, 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 I. All right, um, Candace, I'm sorry. This is a live show. I'm really sorry. Um, you know what, can you just like put the passcode in the chat without the commentary or the letters? I also don't think we should be doing the passcode like in front of the audience. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. But you know what? That passcode has expired anyway. So it's just moved. What? You know what, I'm gonna see what I can do on the back end. Okay. All right, that sounds, yeah. I'm gonna see what I can do for you, Miss Rachel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it right. Um, all right. Uh, you know what? I think we're good. I think we'll just figure this out later. Um, okay. Uh, I we're will we're say... just gonna power through, or I'll call you. I'll call you in the commercial break. Maybe. Okay. Maybe should... All right. The next. The next number in the code was eight, though, and that's just fun because it's seven, eight, nine. Oh, <laughs> that is kind of funny. You're right. Um, 
but uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna move on. Thank you so much, Candice. Um, so we're fine. I, I, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more after this. Uh, but you know what? Up next, we have the Fernanda Show. So you call me to this place just to break up with me? You could have just called me. I thought you would not pick up. Is it because I'm human? It's 2070. Animals and humans have reached equal rights. Animals have been able to talk for 30 years now. We have achieved relationships that are platonic romantic, but not sexual. I know. It's because your breath smells funny in the morning. Excuse me? Your breath, Fernanda. It stinks in the morning. I thought that happens to everyone. See, dogs, we see with our nose. When I wake up, your breath is like looking at Hieronymus Bosch's painting, The Garden of Earthly Delights. What? It may look nice, but there are horrible depictions of torture. People getting skinned, eaten alive, burned, and smelling your breath is like looking at them. Wow! Do you know Jan van Eyck's The Last Judgment? Um, no. Humans impaled by spiky tentacles, greasy bodies slipping off each other as they are born from the rectum of a skeleton. What the hell? Your breath smell is like a VR version of these paintings. Excuse me. I mean, your breath smells bad the whole day. But my nose is much more sensitive. So you're just going to insult me? I told you, I see with my nose. Do you know 1561's Peter Bruegel's Del Griet? Here we go. There are unearthly depictions of rotten eggs and decaying flesh. Rats and fish eating humans alive, while filthy torture instruments come out of all kinds of hairy human orifices. And my breath. Smells like that? You can see a number of scaly pests and gruesome mutated creatures. There is a spoon coming out of a child's face, but the face is in his butt, so his mouth is his rectum, and he is holding a dish of old moldy mayonnaise. Your breath is like a nightmarish the Louvre. I think I get it. Um, I should leave. I want to get down, please. Wow, something your nose is not good at. Just help me stink breath. Welcome to another Zero Waste with Lourdes. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to reuse all the white fragility that's falling all around us. So last week in my job, when it was brought up that we were going to have diversity training, all the white people got a little bit upset. But that's good for us because I was able to collect a little bit of white fragility. As you can see, this is a big batch. How can you use this? Um, this one specifically is really good for the pores. So I like to put it on my skin. It feels kind of icy and it's really good to close the pores. I got a lot more uses for you. Now let's spill the tea. As you know, I like to enjoy a cup of tea. However, yesterday, while drinking tea with my partner, I brought up that a white person's viewpoint comes from a racialized point of reference. He did not like that. However, I was able to collect blue white fragility. It's good for coffee or for tea. Strong. 
Now, one of the hardest white fragility to collect is when you bring up race to your best friend. Fortunately, I was able to collect some. As you can see, I don't have a lot and it's kind of blackish, purplish. This one came off when I told my white best friend that Friends, the show, is not really funny. It's a ripoff of Living Single and that her favorite song, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, is a mediocre song. I don't have a friend anymore, but fortunately I got this. This one's a really good secret recipe to reduce wrinkle appearance. A lot of white people think brown people have really good genes, but it's not that. It's that we secretly know how to use white fragility. Thank you. Join us next week in Zero Waste with Lourdes. Bye. clap for Fernanda Perez and the Fernanda show up next uh we are actually doing a live fantasy draft on the show I am bored I am stuck at home and I have decided to take up fantasy sports I don't actually know that much about sports if you know me well you know that that's true uh so here to walk me through the fantasy drafting process are Bacola and Royce hey. hi welcome hi thank you so much for having us on Thank yeah. you for coming on the show. All right. So um, you guys are going to help me with this draft, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's that, you know, it's that time of year that, you know, you know, we've been looking forward to, to this, you know, things have been delayed yeah. um, by months, honestly, yeah. and, you know, and, and just now, you know, this week, uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this new schedule. What about you, Nicola? I'm so excited for this new schedule. It's with, with the changes that are happening this year. I was a little late to the game. I wasn't prepared um, in the beginning, but now, like now that I know what's happening and um, and things are, you know, going a little awry around the holidays. I'm really, you know, got to get my uh, starting five ready. You know? Yeah. That's Wait, what sport are we even doing? Because I don't know actually. Oh. It's Rachel. It's, it's cuffing season. <laughs> That's a sport. Yes. It can be a workout. <laughs> it can what? be a sport. It can I be know, a, like, it's a way of life. Is it, is it like basketball? Are we doing basketball? Uh, oh, there, there are balls involved. There are balls involved. What does that mean? Explain. Okay. Um, so cuffing season is that time of year where, you know, where, uh, where everyone basically decides it's like, all right, am I going to, you know, am I going to be alone for the next few months or, you know, if I'm, am I going to, you know, ha have a, have a little somebody to share some time with? Yeah. It's, it's like hibernating with a partner. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a, that's a good way to put it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Rachel, are you not familiar with cuffing? I have no idea what you're talking about. I literally don't know what you're talking about. I thought we were going to do, like, basketball draft or... Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I don't, like, March, because, like, March is... I don't... You said March? I, mean, I don't know, March. I'm just trying to find an activity that I can do, and I don't know what you're talking about at all. Oh, you can, you know, the thing about this, you can do this activity from the comfort of your own home, actually. Mm -hmm. but, but what yeah. is it? <laughs> Dating, cuffing season, basically to get cuffed, getting cuffed oh. through someone. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Cuffed. <laughs> cuffed. People if competitively, people competitively date? No, it's, it's not a competition not. unless you like it. Yeah. It's always a competition. It's either, if not against other people, against yourself. <sighs> True. You have to get the good ones early or, you know, like you could end up with someone who doesn't even like the same shows you do, or at least pretends to for the next three months. Yeah. Wait, Maybe. you. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna be like, people think about it like this? Cause I don't. Oh, people plan for this for months. Of course. Honey, yeah. who's gonna keep you warm in the winter? Exactly. Like, there's, there's, a whole, there's a whole schedule for this. Uh, matter of fact, hey, can we bring up the, the graphic, like the, what the original schedule is 
Thank for- you so much, Ezra. Thank you. Go ahead. <clears throat> so the original cupping season schedule, as you can see, um, Royce, please go ahead and uh, explain it out. We have scouting starting in August, uh, close to the end of the summer. This is for a normal cupping season in a normal year. Um, right. You know, you know, these are these are not normal times. So I mean, no. so it's essentially like yeah, this this is this is what we do. So you know, from August first to the thirty first, you know, it's all about scouting, right? You know, so you know, you 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 out there in the streets, you know, you you know, you're seeing a couple of people like, okay, you know, I, I like this one, I like that one, you know, you're on your dating apps, you know, you know, you're kind of you know. You get, you're just trying to get down, like you're gonna you know, get your draft board up there, you know, for what it, who it is that you're thinking, like you know, you know, somebody could be lose, could lose stock, especially if you're trying to bring him in for a preseason workout, and it's just, it just ain't hitting like that. You just gotta, you know, take them off the board. Sometimes they fall in the draft, right? Yes. So once you're doing scouting, that next month in September, that's the actual draft. So that's like, you know, you're going out on dates. You know, you're, you know, you've been, you know, checking out a couple of people for a while. So, all right, you know what, that, that's, let's see what things are like in real life. Yeah. I'm behind. Are you behind? Well, well this, this is a normal cuffing season. Don't, this is, this doesn't even count for 2020. How are we going to do this in 2020? This is crazy. Oh, true. I mean, so basically the main point is to look at like the old schedule, you know, championship game, February 14th, obviously, yeah. you know. You could, you know, resign them after that, or, you know, maybe you're, you know, cuffed or, you know, you go to free agency. And a lot of times, I don't know, that's, that's usually when, uh, right around like, the first day of summer. Sundress or, season, you know, you could start showing your ankles again. You might, you know, find someone else who just became a free agent out of their cuffing season. It, it just all depends, but uh, the, the yeah, yeah. But the nitty gritty of it, you know, are those winter months, you know, that's when you're really in the game, you're really digging in deep, you're getting dirty, getting there, getting in there with your hands, you know? Exactly. So now, um, Ezra, can we bring up the revised cuffing season schedule? Because, you know, the pandemic has changed up a lot, you know, and much like the NBA draft, which happened this week, which normally happens in June, you know, we, you, you got to start things a little bit later. So now, yeah scouting starts in december all right yeah draft it's january 1st you just do it all in one day all right you know the um you know the, you got you know you got the preseason after that you got the tryouts it's all like on a shorter schedule now cupping season begins february 14th but you know normally that's like a championship game but you know we can't go outside you know, uh, like we, we definitely can't. It's, you know, it's like, because my, otherwise right now, you know, this winter is drier than Ben Shapiro's wife, right? Um, That's a word. That's a word yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, so now, like, you know, you got your playoffs in May, June, championship game, you know, that's the, you know, we're trying to win the Stanley Cuff. Um, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was, I, I think, See? I think. <laughs> But then, and then, you know, either you resign them or free agency. When is that? Whenever quarantine ends, because hey, like, you don't really have to make a decision until that. You know, they're going to, you know, you're not about to meet somebody at a party, you know, just, you know, outside, like, you know, you got your sundress on, you know, you, you see them, their shorts, whatever. You know, it, it can't happen right now. I mean, are you following us, Rachel? No, I need help. I need you to tutor me in between the videos i don't understand what's happening i didn't think people thought like this and I, my mind is blown it's yeah. okay we'll find you someone for cuffing season really just get it clink clink locked down you'll be warm for the winter my love warm for the winter. um this i don't know about this winter you know maybe, maybe next year <laughs> maybe we can yeah. start on next, next okay year. yes that's true yeah yeah so we'll, we'll we'll talk we'll talk it out see if we get uh, uh but for now you got to start scouting so yeah. you know get get on the apps you know even when you're outside you know just you know it's all about the eyes you can only see the eyes because of the masks so you know look you got to get creative when when a cuffing season comes you have to you know some cuffs just don't work other ones you cuff for life cuff for life you know depending when quarantine ends victor wants to know who your lebron dame is royce my LeBron Dame. Um, ah, well, see, right, right now, you know, I also have, you know, have been having to wait for cuffing season. So, yeah, you know, so right, right now, 
I know. Uh, it's all it's all about the scouting report right now. Yeah. All about the scouting scouting report. What about you, Bacola? How you know how are you preparing for this year's cuffing season? I'm on. Uh, I'm uh, you know looking through the apps, checking some old stuff because you know you you know we might have to you know jump back a couple of years, but you know what? just weighing the options right now, seeing who cooks the best, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know, who, you know, who cooks, you know, who, you know, whose gift game is on point, you know, who's, who's yeah. going who's gonna to watch Gilmore Girls with me again, you know? Me, I will. No. Okay, we can talk about this. Yeah. We... <laughs> you're you're <laughs> doing this wrong, Rachel. You're doing this wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I no, think... no, no. We'll talk, Rachel. We'll talk. We'll talk. Okay. Well, I I appreciate you, you both coming on the show. I would love to talk to you more um, while I play this next video. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add before we play it? Oh yeah, uh, we're, we have a book coming out. Um, yeah, it's called uh, uh, "You Can Cuff Too." Uh, so uh, we'll, you know, we'll get you a copy of it. And, you know, we have to come back again, see how your progress is, and great uh, more cuffing tips. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, all right, up next uh, we have a word from our sponsors. Bald eagles are the real national bird of America. That's why you should eat them for Thanksgiving instead of the majestic turkey. What have bald eagles ever done for you? They don't pay taxes. They're always judging you. Benjamin Franklin wrote, For my own part, I wish the bald eagle had not been chosen as the representative of our country. He is a bird of bad moral character. He does not get his living honestly. This is real. Benjamin Franklin really wrote that in a letter to his daughter. This Thanksgiving, don't eat a turkey. Eat a bald eagle. Paid for by Turkeys of America. <laughs> Up next, uh, we have an amazing video, video by uh, Ben Crutcher. So we'll play that. All righty. Okay, so this morning I'm eating breakfast toasties and I'm doing my normal breakfast doom scroll through the social media. When I catch a glimpse of the image on the side of the milk carton, you know, the missing kid, it's me, okay? I'm the missing kid on the side of the milk carton. I spit the toasties from my mouth and they go everywhere. I cannot believe it. Eric Generic, it says it right here, missing since this morning. Oh, what the fuck? impossible I, i'm not missing i'm here <laughs> this must be a joke right and before i can finish my sentence i noticed that it continued last seen purchasing scratch offs at the m m mart on the corner of harrington and western like some degenerate whatever i buy one stupid lottery ticket and you know what Fuck you man it doesn't make me a degenerate the description goes on dollar store haircut tinny oh. singing voice stinky ass feet still wears boot cut jeans on his tiny twig legs Tinny singing voice? Boot cut jeans? What the f is this? I look down and there they are. Boot cut jeans on my little bitty legs. Now I'd sing you some bars from the Star Spangled Banner, but I'll spare you the embarrassment. Okay, the carton carries on. Stumbled upon a witch's broom and wished this whole nightmare would end, and so it did. Witch's broom. This thing. So it's a magical witch's broom by which I just wish the stupid sequence events would end, and then. Okay, so this morning I'm eating breakfast toasties, right? You guys can sing along to this in the chat at home. I guess you can sing along to it in the chat. Oh, you're ready. Okay, here we go. Three, two, and one. 
Up next, we have uh, eight minutes. You're live. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Make some noise, Pack Theater. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make some noise, Pack Theater. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I know, Taylor. That's what somebody says in the comments. Clap. Clap. Yeah, yeah, keep clapping. Yeah, <laughs> we're eight minutes. Yeah, we're eight minutes. <laughs> keep clapping, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm still clapping. I'm just not typing it. Type, type and clap in real life, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Woo, clap, oh yeah. Clapping to infinity, yes. And then someone says, shit, clap, clap. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah. We're eight minutes. We're eight minutes, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> eight minutes. Clap. Clap, clap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're eight minutes. Yeah. Okay. Clap. Um, Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're getting some complaints in the chat. Uh, are you are you just going to clap for the whole get claps for the whole time? Can you hear the music? Can you guys hear the music? Can you hear yeah. the music? We're, we actually we have uh, we have something we have something planned. Great. Uh, okay, we're, we're gonna... I guess. Yeah. Sorry, we're, we're they the they cannot yeah. they cannot hear the music. Oh no. Oh. Oh. oh, that's 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 wait, that's hold on. We that's 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 a problem. Yeah, can we wait? They can't hear this. Uh oh, can you hear it now? For a second there, but now not anymore. Wait, hold on. Oh, not anymore. Can you share the audio? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're eight minutes. We're eight minutes. <laughs> I can play other music. <laughs> No. Oh, okay. No. Don't do it. What happened? We got it. We got it? It's going to happen. Okay. Oh, I heard it for a second there, but then it turned right off. Yeah. Oh. It's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Got to be ready for it. It's going to happen. It's coming. What was the What's the song? What was the song name again, Marilyn? Oh, uh, let me clear my throat. Let me clear, can you, Ezra, can you play Let Me Clear My Throat? Uh, like off YouTube? Can, yeah, is that possible? Well, um, okay. Um, yes, but you know what? Okay. Let's play yeah. this next word from our sponsor. Oh. And I have it right here. Can... Yeah. Yay! Oh, okay, you have it. Yeah, we right. have it. <laughs> yeah. We can't hear it, though. Yeah, no, it's not. You can't hear it. How about... Let's play our uh, the next word from our sponsor, and uh, and then and then we'll come back with eight minutes. Okay. Okay, because I have it. I'm ready when you're ready. We're ready when you're ready. Okay, going. Sorry about that. We. Okay. The turkey, a great American bird, proud, intelligent, wildly admired. So why do we eat them for Thanksgiving? This Thanksgiving, don't eat a turkey. Eat a seagull. Seagulls drink salt water. They're already seasoned for you. Seagulls are loud, noisy, and they'll steal your food at the beach. Oops. Steal them back for food. 
this Thanksgiving, eat seagulls, not turkeys. Paid for by the turkeys of America. <laughs>Okay, so you found it, right? I'm ready. Okay, you're yeah. on. You're yeah, we're on. Great. Okay. All right, guys, let's do this. You ready? We're back. Ready. Yeah, we're eight minutes. Okay. Yeah. We can't play copyrighted music though. Oh, oh that? no, you guys have you, we can't do that. You have, oh, oh yeah, sorry. What? Uh -oh. that's okay. We're... Sorry, all right. Uh, we'll, well, we'll do right. our we have a dramatic scene planned. Uh, we, we would Amazing. love to show it to you. Perfect, yeah, yeah. That was just the intro, just the intro. Uh, that was just the intro. That was that was just the intro, yeah. That was the intro for the that was just a uh, Marilyn. Yeah. I, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe that we lost our child before we even got to see him. I I think about this moment all the time. I, I, I play it over in my head and I'm thinking to myself, why? Why did this happen to us? Yeah. Why, why did this, why are we the ones that have to deal with this? Exactly, why are we the ones that have to deal with the pain and the suffering all the time? Ian, thank you so much for being here with us during this. Sure, I'm sorry if I um, didn't bring a card, I did bring my condolences. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're eight minutes, everybody. Give it okay, up. Yeah, we're keep clapping. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. And go back to what everybody wants to hear. So also live is um, a catfish who uh, is here to tell us um, about Thanksgiving. Oh, we can't hear you. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm a catfish. I am not used to dealing with Zoom. That's not important. My name is Catfish, I am a catfish. I'm gonna get right down to business. All right, I've been watching this stream. I understand that the turkeys are real pissed off and they don't want people eating them. Uh, they're trying to put them on eagles for some reason, which I don't know why they got beef with eagles, but that's on them. Uh, look, I, I understand why the turkeys are pissed off. They got roped into a factory farming system. That's a bad deal for them. You got bad food. They're getting jacked up with antibiotics. They're living in very bad conditions where they're wallowing around in their own filth. Uh, you know, they've been subjected to a selective breeding program wherein the species has changed so fundamentally that they can't exist in the wild anymore. Uh, most notably, their breast tissue has been tripled or bigger in some cases uh, to the effect that they can no longer fly or fornicate. Uh, you know, they're just physically incapable of either of those actions because of either the shape of their body or their weight. Uh, you know, and that's bad. So like, I get where the turkeys are coming from, but turkeys, I hear you, but catfish is here. 
tag catfish in. Catfish is ready to be eaten for Thanksgiving, okay? Wait, you want to get eaten? Well, look, I, yes. The long and short of it is this. As bad as all of that stuff sounds, life as a catfish is worse, okay? Talking about, like, my entire existence, I, I live in the bottom of lakes or rivers or sometimes the ocean, okay? And my entire existence is just foraging for food in the bottom of bodies of water. You know what collects at the bottom of bodies of water? All of the organic waste of every living thing inside of that body of water, okay? And then also the decaying tissue of every dead thing in that body of water. So I am literally just eating death and shit all the time. So whatever bad food they're going to give me in a factory farming system, probably going to be a significant upgrade. Uh, also, if I'm trapped in a little cage and wallowing in my own shit, my God, it's just my shit. What an upgrade. Okay. Uh, getting crammed full of antibiotics, I, I understand it's not what you want. However, you say cram full of antibiotics. I'm hearing free health care, and that's very popular right now. I know a lot of Americans are super amped on that right now. So, you know, another reason uh, or another way to show your politics, choosing catfish instead of turkey, free health care, putting it together. All right, now uh, getting to the selective breeding part. Uh, I do have some moral qualms with that. Uh, I, I would not be super amped on, on being selectively bred. Uh, however, I, I don't know that we're gonna have the same problems that turkeys do. Uh, catfish sex, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's really mm -hmm. not that complicated. We ain't gotta like get on top of each other and like just, just pound it home. You know, it's just kind of the, the, the female catfish goes and like releases her eggs. And then, you know, me, I go over over the, the eggs that have been deposited at a safe distance from everyone. And I just kind of, I do my, I do my, you know, my, my, my sperm on them. Uh, and then we just go our separate ways. So like, no matter how grotesquely you amplify my breast tissue, I'm still going to be able to perform that act. So, uh, you know, that's fine by me. Um, also, you know, you put some big honking titties on me. I'm going to fry up real good for Thanksgiving. Real good. Going to be real tasty, real juicy. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I mean, that's, that's my pitch, America. Listen, catfish on your table for Thanksgiving. Everyone, except maybe white people, because I heard that 70 million of you voted for a fascist recently. So maybe don't. Y'all, y'all can get fucked. Oh, okay. Uh, were you by any chance like bought by the turkeys for America campaign or? Oh no, man! Catfish is here pro bono. I'm trying to put some meaning into my life by preserving a, another species. Or I, I mean, shit. I don't know. I just want some big titties. Okay. Um. So. Uh, do you have anything else to tell the audience or uh, I will I will move on. Thank you for this message. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got. Please, uh, this this Thanksgiving, which I understand is coming up on Thursday, vote catfish. Uh, it's very important that you do that. And uh, please I, subject me to selective breeding. Thank you. Uh, Y'all take it easy. Thank you, uh, Catfish. All right. Uh, up next, we have a great video from Andres Parada. Take it away, Andres. Yo, what's up? My name is Pete Zudi. I'm a borderline offensive guy. <laughs> and I'm just celebrating the fact that Joe Biden is the winner of the presidency. Sorry. I feel like I'm a little prince with my special king. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding about the kiss. I told you guys I was going to be offensive. <laughs> okay, so I wake up this early every day from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. I'm just tweeting at Trump supporters, shaming them for being stupid idiots. And then, um... Uh, 
from 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. I'm eating breakfast and then from 8 a.m. to the rest of the day I'm just baking pots and pans, spreading the good word. The only way that I can stay awake for all of it is by drinking Biden powder, which is an energy drink that I bought from a guy underneath the bridge. He told me that it's Joe Biden. PD, I, I really don't think you should drink that. Well, good thing you're not me. <laughs> okay, so to celebrate the big presidency, we're eating all of Joe Biden's favorite snacks. We got Chardonnay. <laughs> and then we got white rice and uh, boiled hot dogs. <laughs> oh, those are roaches. How long has it been sitting out? Just, just like five days. But I'm not touching it till inauguration day. <laughs> That's like two months away, you know that, right? Okay, so I used to be really into the NFL, but the, as you know, people stopped moving over to politics. <laughs> so I just chose a team. And the, the mascot just happens to be an old guy who loves to sniff people's hair. It's offensive, but it's not as offensive as some of the NFL team names, man. 49ers? <laughs> Do you know what 49 is, man? I had 49 with a beautiful lady one time, man. It was offensive, man. I was like this. I was like... <laughs> you know, I'm not in New York City or anything where there's tons of people to gather with to celebrate, so I just do my part, man. Hey, what's up, man? You want to come hang over? Maybe talk about Joe Biden or some shit, man? <laughs> Bro, this is an Arby's. Oh. So today is finally the day that I go to the fairgrounds where I know there's going to be people and I'm going to celebrate Joe Biden, man. It's going to be off the hook, man. Even though I am lonely, I'll find a way to share my passion with other people. I might not know all of the projections or the stats or even the rules of the game. But the one thing that I do know, man, is that Joe Biden roots for the underdog. And so with Joe Biden we're all going to be winners. Thank you, Joe Biden. Thank you. Andres Parada. Up next, we have our friend Manny on the street, who is back uh, to ask people on the street about Thanksgiving. Manny, are you there? Manny? I am, I am here. Just give me a second. Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Here we are. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> okay, Hello, everybody. Okay. I'm totally almost dropped my phone, but I caught it. Okay, now where'd I go? <laughs> oh, well, sorry. If you're <laughs> hi, how you doing? <laughs> yes, Rachel. Hello, I am Manion de Street. It's of French origin, and I am here outside on the streets of Silver Lake trying to see if I can interview anyone if they are willing to see what they're doing for Thanksgiving. If they're deciding to skirt Newsom's requests that he did also not follow and go home, or if they're gonna go anyways, sorry. Studio I'm gonna apologize, apologize to. also to people because they're walking <laughs> by. Just people walking by. 
Uh, sir, can I ask you a question? Would you mind if I ask you? you know, are you going anywhere for Thanksgiving? Do you mind turn the camera? Kind of losing you there, Manny. That's that's okay. Hello, everyone. Are you there? Can you hear me now? We can hear you. We can't can see hear? anything that's happening, but we can hear you. Yeah, your video keeps I don't freezing. know what's happening. Everything's crazy. I apologize. Are you there? Can yeah, you we're here. Me? We can see you. So, so you're live in Silver Lake. <laughs> yes, I'm live in Silver Lake. Not sure what you guys heard. I'm just out here in front of the famous Silver Lake. You can see it here. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show you guys. Two women walking by asked if that was supposed to be Governor Gavin Newsom, who, again, does not follow his own rules because he is different because he has lots of money. Um, anyways, they thought it might be an old version of him there in the green shorts. Sir, are you going home? I mean, I have a, a gentleman that I'm going to go ahead and ask. A, a, a real one? Whoa. Yeah. Are you going home for Thanksgiving or are you deciding to stay here in town? You're gonna work through Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. How do you? Uh, and how does that make you feel? Do you feel sad at all? Say that again. Uh, work, 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 uh, make me happy. Work makes him happy, so he will stay here where work makes him happy. Instead of going home, possibly getting COVID, or possibly giving it to all of his family. Thank you, thank sir. You, you have so a great much. day. Thank you. thank you. Have a great day. And thank you, Manny. Thank you for being on the thank you. <laughs> Silver Lake. Thank you. Take care, both of you. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, Manny, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, thanks for, for, <laughs> for just interviewing random people on the street. Uh, thank you, everyone in the audience, for watching the show tonight. And um, you know what? We're going to roll the credits. Woo! Tits, <laughs> <laughs>